Hello dear viewers of our YouTube Forexer channel. In this video, we're about to embark on an exciting journey into the world of smart money concepts. These strategies can provide you with the crucial advantage needed to execute successful trades. We will be sharing invaluable insights and techniques aimed at helping you pinpoint the most opportune entry and exit points within the financial markets. Furthermore, we'll unravel the intricate patterns and methodologies that underpin smart money concepts. You'll learn how to identify high probability supply or demand zones and recognize shifts in market dynamics, giving you the competitive edge and insights required to stay one step ahead of the ever evolving market. This episode is your comprehensive guide on how to enter and exit trades, elevating your profitability while simultaneously minimizing your exposure to risk. So, fellow traders, if this piques your interest, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Traders, let's dive right into it. What entry methods can we employ within the smart money concept? Well, SMOC entry methods can be broadly categorized into two main subcategories. First, we have the reversal entry method, and second, the continuation entry method. Now, within the reversal entry method, there are two subcategories to consider. The first is the change of character or market structure shift, and the second is the flip entry setup. Before we delve into the specifics of these setups, it's important to emphasize that these entry methods should primarily be applied within higher time frame supply or demand zones. These areas are considered to have a high probability of success due to the influence of the higher time frame. Trading outside of these zones can increase your exposure to risk. So let's kick things off by discussing the change of character or market structure aspect within the realm of reversal methods. What is the meaning of the change of character or market structure shift? Change of character means that the market has changed its trend or order flow over time, and it already consists of two types. Minor and major change of character, identifying a valid change of character is an absolute must-have for the smart money traders. You will endure some losses if you fail to spot a valid change. So, let's see how we should identify a valid change of character. Suppose we have a bullish market where prices consistently make a series of higher highs and higher lows. In this scenario, each high and low serves as a significant market structure level. The most recent higher high and higher low are the ones we closely monitor. If there's a break below the most recent higher low, it indicates that the price is potentially shifting to the downside and attempting to change its primary direction. This is what we consider a change of character in the market. The key point for a valid change of character is that we require the price to break and close a candle below the previous market structure level. This confirms the shift in market dynamics and signals a change in the prevailing trend. If the price breaks the most recent market structure level with a shadow, wicks, and closes back within the range of that structure level, then our change of character is considered invalid. This principle holds true for both bullish and bearish scenarios. It underscores the importance of not only the break, but also the confirmation through a candlestick close outside the structure level to validate the change in market direction. There is an essential pro tip to always remember. A change of character is considered valid only under one condition. That condition is when the price has reversed and originated from a supply or demand zone before breaking the recent market structure and creating the change of character. If the price creates a change of character without interacting with a supply or demand zone, even if there is a valid candlestick pattern, it cannot be considered a valid change of character. The presence of a supply or demand zone prior to the change is a crucial factor in determining the validity of this shift in market direction. For instance, let's consider a bullish market where the price establishes a series of higher highs and higher lows. As illustrated here, the price creates this change of character after interacting with the higher time frame supply zone. The next crucial step is to examine whether the price closes below this higher low by the body of a bearish candle. If our candlestick pattern is valid and meets the necessary criteria, we can reasonably assume that the price intends to alter its direction and the change of character is a reliable trading signal. However, if the price did not interact with the upper supply zone, we would have a market structure like this. In this scenario, if the price moves to the downside, it is likely to be rejected when it reaches the unmitigated order block. Instead of changing its initial direction, it may start a fresh impulsive wave to the upside. As previously mentioned, changes of character can occur in two ways, minor and major. 
Understanding these distinctions is crucial for traders to make informed decisions in different market conditions. In the right corner, we have the schematic figure representing a major change of character, while in the left corner, we have the figure illustrating a minor change of character. So what is the difference between them? A major change of character occurs when the price breaks a structure that has created a breakout support BOSE, for example. As you can see here, the price has broken out of a structure that had already formed a BOS, on the other hand. The price has also broken out of another structure, but it couldn't establish a BOS. In this case, we have a minor change of character, which cannot be confidently considered as a shift in the market structure. However, if the price breaks this structure to the downside, then we can confidently identify a shift in the market structure. I have observed many novice traders in the stock market character who mistakenly consider a minor change of character as a valid shift in the market structure. Instead, it is important to wait for the price to create a major change of character, as it provides a higher probability in the SMIC trading setup compared to the minor one. Neglecting this distinction often leads to losses. As you can observe, the price created a series of bearish moves to the downside until it reached an unmitigated demand zone, which originates from a higher time frame. Subsequently, the price reversed to the upside. You can also see that the price broke out of this structure to the upside with an engulfing candlestick pattern. This might appear to be a change of character, but before taking any action, we need to ask ourselves a crucial question. Can we consider this change of character as a valid market structure shift? The answer in this case is no. Why? Because the price has broken out of a structure that couldn't create a bullish order block. Therefore, with this minor change of character, we cannot be certain that a full market structure shift is imminent. Hence, it's advisable to wait for the price to demonstrate a major change of character before making trading decisions. To have a major change of character, the price must break and close above the market structure level that previously created a bearish bullish order block. Boss. As traders, you can see that we have a major change of character here, indicating that the downtrend is over and a market structure shift is likely to occur. Now there's a crucial point I want to emphasize. After creating a change of character, as seen here, the price changes its direction to the opposite. But it's important to assess whether the price respects the demand zone of the minor change of character or the major change of character. It's evident that the price did not respect the demand zone of the minor change of character. In such cases, if you had a buy order in that area, you would have missed out on a perfect trading opportunity. This underscores the significance of paying more attention to the demand zones associated with major changes of character, as they tend to carry more weight and reliability in trading decisions compared to minor changes of character. Let's proceed with the next example. In this scenario, we have a strong downtrend where the price has been forming a series of bearish order blocks. At a certain point, the price touches a demand zone from a higher time frame and reacts by moving to the upside. Subsequently, the price breaks out of this market structure and creates a minor change of character because the lower high formed couldn't generate a bullish order block to the downside. Many traders specializing in smart money concepts might interpret this movement as a market structure shift and anticipate a change in the price direction to the upside. Consequently, they might place their buy orders at the highest point of the area created by the change of character. However, as illustrated, a complete market structure shift did not occur and the price did not respect the demand area associated with a minor change of character. This resulted in the stop losses of traders who entered the market with long positions being hit, leading to some losses. This change of character analysis highlights the importance of not taking trades without confirmation. It increases the likelihood of successful trades by waiting for strong indications of a true market structure shift. In the following topic, we will explore how to use the change of character to set up a trade which can provide traders with a higher probability of success. When using a change of character pattern to enter trades, there are two different types of entries to consider, the aggressive entry and the conservative entry. Let's delve into both of them in detail, starting with the aggressive entry model. In this scenario, let's imagine that the price has created a bullish structure to the upside after reaching a higher time frame supply zone. However, the price is subsequently rejected downward and forms a major change of character by breaking and closing below this bullish structure which previously created a bullish order block. Now, for the aggressive entry type, set a sell limit order. In the next step, you should place a sell limit order at the lowest point of the supply zone, which is created by the change of character's wave to the downside. Place your stop, loss order a few pips above the supply zone. 
The target for this trade is typically the most recent unmitigated demand zone. This is the general schematic for Chuck's aggressive entry method. Let's proceed to see a real example to better understand how this entry strategy works in practice. On our price chart, we have the euro dollar pair in a 15 minute time frame. As you can see, the price has been forming a series of bullish order blocks BOS until it reached a higher time frame supply zone. The price hit the supply zone and reversed from it, also creating minor and major change of character patterns. The next step in our aggressive entry setup is to place a sell limit order at the lowest point of the bearish order block created by the change of character. We position our stop, loss a few pips above the highest point of our supply zone. For our take profit, we target the most recent unmitigated demand zone. As you can observe, this zone is the closest unmitigated zone to the current price. So we set our take profit at this zone. Now all that remains is to wait for the price to activate our sell limit order so that our take profit can be reached. Let's delve into the details of the next topic, the conservative entry method. In this entry model, we utilize two separate time frames to execute our trades. One higher time frame. This is used for conducting market analysis. It provides a broader perspective on the market's overall direction and trends. Two, lower time frame. This is employed for detecting possible entry confirmations and executing buy or sell order. It allows for more precise timing of entries. Using this combination of higher and lower time frames enables traders to make more informed and well-timed trading decisions while considering both the big picture and short-term price movements. I prefer using the 15-minute time frame for conducting my market analysis, and then I zoom into the one minute time frame for executing my trades. However, you have the flexibility to choose different time frame combinations. For example, you can use the one hour time frame as your higher time frame for market analysis and the five minute time frame for trade entry. Alternatively, you can opt for the four hour time frame for analysis and the 15 minute time frame for execution. The choice ultimately depends on your personal preferences and trading style, regardless of your chosen time. Frames. There's a fundamental rule to follow. Your higher time frame used for market analysis should be at least twice as large as your lower time frame for entry confirmation. This ensures you have a broader perspective on the market's overall direction while still being able to identify precise entry points. Let's consider a scenario where the price has formed a series of bullish order blocks BOS to the upside. However, after reaching a strong supply zone from a higher time frame, it gets rejected and creates a major change of character by breaking the bullish structure to the downside in the subsequent steps. We draw the supply zone created by the change of character's wave. We then switch to a lower time frame and patiently await the price to return to the supply zone while showing us a major change of character. After spotting a valid change of character, we highlight the order block created by the change of character's wave on the lower time frame. Following this confirmation, we proceed to place our sell limit order at the lowest point of the supply zone. The stop. Loss is positioned just a few pips above the highest point of the zone. For our take profit, we target the most. Recent unmitigated demand zone. Compared to the aggressive entry type, this conservative entry model offers several advantages. It provides more confirmation setups and effectively lowers risk exposure with the use of a smaller stop loss. Additionally, it often results in a higher reward too. Risk Ratio, making it a favorable choice for traders who prioritize risk management and confirmation in their trading strategies. Let's examine a real example using a 15-minute year U.S. time frame on our chart. On the chart, you can observe that the price has established a sequence of bullish order blocks BOS to the upside. However, after touching a higher time frame supply zone, it reversed to the downside and initiated a major change of character by breaking the previous structure to the downside. The next step involves drawing the supply zone formed by Choch wave. This provides us with confirmation on the higher time frame. Following confirmation on the higher time frame, we switch to a one minute time frame and patiently wait for the price to reach the order block zone while also forming a valid change of character. As observed in the chart, the price reached the supply zone, and subsequently, it broke out of the structure to the downside, leaving behind a significant inefficiency. This price action provided the confirmation we were seeking. In the next step, we highlighted the supply zone created by Choch Wave, which served as our point of interest. Following confirmation, we executed our sell limit order at this point. 
Our stop loss was set a few pips above the highest point of the zone, and we targeted either the recent unmitigated demand zone on the current time frame or the one on the higher time frame as our take profit level. As a result, our sell limit order was activated and we entered the market. This example illustrates how the change of character analysis can be applied effectively to identify trading opportunities and execute trades with confirmation in real market conditions. There's a crucial point that you should always keep in mind when utilizing the change of character in your trading. Change of characters choach are most effective when 1. They break through two or more supply or demand zone. 2. They form after a higher time frame mitigation. 3. Price impulsively breaks through the zones with a few large candles. Now, let's delve into the details of the flip entry setup, which is the second part of the Smart Money Concepts reversal entries. Flip entries are among the most effective ways to quickly enter setups as the market rapidly moves either upward or downward. The flip entry strategy revolves around reacting to a significant zone and then breaking through it. Let's explore how to identify a flip setup. Imagine we have a bullish market where the price has established a series of higher highs and higher lows. To identify a valid flip pattern, follow these steps. Price should first be rejected from a higher time frame supply zone. It should then test the last demand zone and be pushed to the upside, showing a rejection. However, price should not create a new higher high. It must break through the last demand zone, which was tested once, leaving a supply zone behind known as the flip zone. Price will test the flip zone once more, and you should keep a close watch on it and place a limit order there. This same concept applies to the bearish scenario. There is a key point that you need to remember. If the price had not reacted at the last demand or supply zone, there would not have been a flip. The flip pattern closely resembles the change of characters pattern. However, it's essential to note that in this particular case, every flip is a change of character. But not every change of character is a flip. Setting up a trade with the flip pattern is very similar to the change of character, and we can use the same trading setups for both of them. Therefore, we can employ both aggressive and conservative entry types to execute trades in flip zones. But before delving into the details of each, I'd like to provide a quick candle breakdown of the flip pattern. This pattern is most effective when the price rapidly and aggressively moves away from demand and supply zones, breaking through the last demand zone and leaving inefficiency behind it. Here's the rationale. If demand were strong, it should have reacted with more momentum and broken out of the newly created supply level. However, the last demand couldn't provide enough rejection to push the price to new highs, indicating its weakness. This situation results in a break, signifying that the new supply zone is back in control. Consequently, we trade the supply side of the market. In the following discussion, I will demonstrate how to use aggressive and conservative entries to execute trades using the flip setup. Now, let's start with the aggressive entry. In this example, we have a valid flip pattern where the price was rejected from a higher time frame supply zone, failed to make a new high, and after testing the most recent demand zone, broke downward. For the aggressive entry, here are the steps. First, highlight the flip zone created by the wave that flipped the recent demand zone. Set your sell limit order at the lowest point of the flip zone. Wait for the price to activate your order. Place your stop loss a few pips above the flip zone. Target the next unmitigated demand zone as your take profit. Let's apply these steps to a real price chart for a clearer understanding. So, here we have the Euro dollar 15 minute time frame. As you can see, we have a bullish market where the price has created bullish BOSE, mitigated the higher time frame supply zone, and reversed to the downside. And reversed to the downside. In the following, the price reached the recent demand zone and created a tiny reaction to the upside with these white candles. Then, the price was pushed to the downside and broke out of the zone with inefficiency, forming a perfect flip pattern. Next, we should highlight the flip zone created by the wave that flipped the recent demand zone. I'm going to place a sell limit order at the lowest point of the flip zone with a stop loss a couple of pips above the flip zone. My target will be the one hour time frame's unmitigated demand zone. Now that we have placed our sell limit, let's see what will happen. As you can see, our sell limit order has been activated and we've entered the market. So let's move on to the details of the next topic, the conservative entry. Imagine we have a perfect flip pattern on the 15 minute time frame. After mitigating the higher time frame supply, the price couldn't make a new high end, finally flipped the recent demand zone after showing us a pullback. 
First, we should highlight the flip zone created by the wave that flipped the recent demand zone. Then, we should zoom into the lower time frame and wait for the price to return to the flip zone and show us a major change of character. After creating a valid change of character, next, we should highlight the order block created by Choch wave on the lower time frame. In the following steps, we should place our sell limit order at the lowest point of the zone, with a stop loss a couple of pips above the zone's highest point. For the take profit, we can target the higher time frame's unmitigated demand, or we can target the swing low of the current time frame. Let's look at an example. Here, we have the euro yen on a 15 minute time chart. As you can see, the price broke the higher time frame supply zone, turned to the downside, and then reached the recent demand zone. It made a small pullback to the upside with some white candles. Subsequently, the price moved to the downside, breaking out of the zone and leaving the inefficiency behind. This forms an excellent flip pattern. Next, we need to highlight the flip area created by the wave that changed the recent demand area. Now that we've spotted the flip zone, we should zoom into the one. Minute time frame and wait for the price to reach the flip zone and show us a valid change of character. As you can see, the price has reached the flip zone, broken out of the structure to the downside, and left an incredible inefficiency behind. This confirms the setup. Next, we highlight the supply zone created by Chach Wave. We've now detected the point of interest. So we place our sell limit order here, set the stop loss a couple of pips above the highest point of the zone, and target the recent unmitigated demand. Once we've executed our sell limit order, we can observe that it has been activated and we've entered the market. As you can see, the price triggered our sell limit, went down, and finally hit our take profit, providing a trade within 3 to e, 1 reward to risk ratio. So, we have discussed the reversal entry methods of the smart money trading setup in detail. Let's now have a brief explanation of SMIC's continuation entry models. If you missed the change of character or flip patterns, or if price action didn't provide you with an entry opportunity, then taking a continuation trade becomes a simpler way to execute trades. Let's imagine we have a bearish market where price, after mitigating the higher time frame's demand zone, undergoes a change of character. With the emergence of a chach, we understand that sellers have lost control, and we should look for a long opportunity. Now, let's consider that somehow you missed the entry opportunity provided by the change of character pattern, or you simply want to open another long position. In such a case, how can you manage to enter the market? In this scenario, for executing long positions, you should wait for price to create a break of structures. Then, you can place your order within the order block zones that the break of structure has created, and you may target the next unmitigated supply zone. However, there is a key point to consider. You are only allowed to open new long positions until the price has not reached the unmitigated supply zone. Let's explore another continuation entry scenario. If the price reaches a higher time frame supply or demand zone, creates a minor pullback, and then breaks the zone, you are permitted to enter the market in the initial direction of the price. You are allowed to place a buy or sell order within the zone created by the wave that flipped the recent demand or supply zone. So traders, we have discussed entry methods of the smart money concept in detail. In the following episodes, we will delve into another crucial topic of the SMC, the patterns and tools that you can use for confirmation of your entries. So, stay tuned for that. Dear viewers, we invite you to experience the difference by opening a trading account with HankoTrade. You'll find the website link in the video description below. Take this exciting step to elevate your trading journey. Join us at HankoTrade and discover a world of possibilities in the financial markets. Don't miss out on this opportunity for a new trading experience. Click the link in the description to create your account today. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed the video and would like us to continue producing more videos week after week, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. In the comment section, please share your opinions and let us know what topics you would like us to cover. We will do our best to create more videos tailored to your interests. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.